Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Uh, today's video is going to show you how to build the Riley Rover robot. Uh, the reason why you'd want to know how to build the Riley Rover robot, try saying that fast three times, um, is it's a quick build. Um, so it's just something that if you didn't have a lot of time to build an extravagant robot, you'd want to know how to build this. Um, I'm also taking, I'm an FLL coach, so I'm taking my team to uh, Legoland this week. They're going to have what they call an on-the-spot challenge, so uh, I won't be able to do any coaching, but my team will be given a task or mission to do. Uh, they'll be timed, and they'll have to redesign and build a, a robot for a mystery challenge. So they're going to need to know how to build this so that they can, uh, you know, utilize their time wisely and uh, not spend a lot of time uh, building the robot, but basically going over the mission and, and being successful that way. So this robot uh, should take uh, these parts and pieces. So let's go over it real quick. Uh, your two wheels, brick, two cables, um, your two motors, uh, two square pieces or rectangles, uh, two L white beams, uh, an eight inch, not eight inch, uh, eight size nails, uh, four of these three hole uh, beams, color doesn't matter, uh, two of these H connectors, a 15 size beam, your ball and caster, two uh, blue long connectors, 19 black connectors, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing built. Okay, the first thing uh, you're going to do is I have the right motor here, so the first thing you're going to do is put uh, that uh, eight size nail uh, through the middle of the uh, motor here, right here. Uh, two black connectors, and then two black connectors right here. Okay, the next thing I did is I put this white beam uh, right here, and then two black connectors uh, in that L white beam. And then I put this uh, three hole beam right there on the wheel. Okay guys, and then next you'll put the tire on. My bad, you're gonna need uh, two white claws, one for this motor and the other for the left. So my bad. So again, tire on and then this white claw. Okay guys, let's go now to the left motor assembly. Um, it's the same thing, just a, a little different than the right one, but here we go. Uh, so I put two black connectors again into the wheel here and I put this three hole beam on here. I put two black connectors here and then attach this white uh, L beam. And then I have a black connector right here at the corner. Okay, so there's the left motor assembly. Okay guys, in that previous uh, clip, I forgot to tell you about that eight size nail that was going through um, the middle here but you can see it's in there now and then we'll put the wheel on and then that other white claw okay guys now for this uh, 15 hole white beam uh, the black connectors will go in like so uh, notice that the last hole is left uh, empty so they get staggered uh, like that one here skip a hole another one there like that and if you flip this over these two long blue connectors will go straight in the middle so if you notice after that this last black connector it will go skip two then the blue skip one then the other blue all right now let's go ahead and put the uh, square and the ball caster on it okay we'll put this gray square on like so Okay, next uh, we'll put this uh, gray H connector on to the blue uh, connectors like that. And then lastly, we'll put our ball and caster onto the gray connector like that. All right, let's go ahead and attach this onto the robot. Okay, guys, now you're going to grab your two motors. My bad, I think when I did the left one, I didn't show that we had two black connectors right here. I think I had one. So there's your second uh, black connector right here. And we're now gonna just connect both motors with this uh, gray uh, square. 
and it will end up looking like this. Okay, I've attached uh, the ball and caster and the white beam onto the robot like that. So you can see those black connectors right there. And let me go ahead and show you what this looks like now. And there's our robot and now we're ready to add the brick. Okay, lastly we have our brick here. We have our four black connectors that will go in like so. And we will place it down like this. what we have there now I've been thinking through this here and I, I've looking at the instructions going well why is the brick facing backwards why is this the front here when this is actually will drive this way um, you know I have to look that up still I'm, I'm guessing so that it eliminates all of the cords or, or cables that are gonna happen so if we put in our motors and they go into here that frees up the front so we don't have a ton of cables uh, coming out here from the front. That's my only guess. If you guys have another answer for that one, let me uh, have a comment down below. But uh, let's go ahead and finish this off. Let's put the cables in. Okay, so now when you put the cables in, here is why we're gonna be crisscrossing the cables. Um, so this motor would usually come up here into C and this one would come into B. The reason why we're flipping it is because the brick is upside down again. So anything that you program, if you don't crisscross the cables, a left is now going to be a right and, and vice versa. So the reason we're going to crisscross the cables here is so that when we want to program a right turn, it really will be a right turn because, again, the brick is backwards and we have adjusted for that. All right, so there you go, guys. There is your Riley Rover robot. And then I know what you're asking, hey, what about sensors or medium motors or anything like that? Uh, that's going to be in a different video. This one was just specifically how to build uh, this Riley Rover robot. So uh, be looking for that in upcoming videos. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, guys, before I leave you with this Riley Rover robot, I wanted to show you again the reason why we crisscrossed those cables. So here on this program here, I have just put in a right turn for two seconds now let me just kind of back that up now thank you Sergio for letting us use your robot so if you notice again I crisscross the cables so if I'm looking at it now here's the front of the robot if I don't crisscross those cables that right turn I just did would be ending up being a left turn and I just don't want to confuse myself like that you know, obviously, if your brain works good backwards, you can you can do all this the right way. But that right turn should now be because I crisscross the cables. Oh, let me go back here to the program. It really is a right turn. So again, um, however your brain works, if you feel like you can handle all of the controls being the opposite of what you really do, that's fine. But if you want to really on the brick see that it's a right turn and have it really do a right turn then uh, that's why we crisscross those cables all right guys there's your Riley robot I know that you see a color sensor and a ultrasonic but that will be for a different video all right guys uh, thanks for watching I am out